Indian Muslim community tends to be tends to not produce terrorists at the same kind of rate as say um, you know say Pakistan or Egypt or, or some of these other countries that they come from. And uh, there's many reasons people, some people say, well, it's because it's a secular state, it's pluralistic, so they have to be tolerant, like the Muslim communities and other places where they're a minority. Or uh, some people say that it's because there was more Sufi influence in India among the Muslim, for the Muslims, whereas in, in, in Pakistan, there was more Arab influence. So I, do you have a take on that? Yeah, uh, well, I, I think it's hard to... Uh, describe it in black and white there is some there is a lot of truth to uh, what you said but uh, recently we've also seen uh, some uh, very educated muslims from india uh, join isis uh, things like that and there have been uh, homegrown uh, terrorist groups as well which is uh, not as bad as uh, or as prolific as uh, the ones that come from across the border or oh, that are funded uh, by all these uh, uh, Islamic neighbors uh, that we have. But uh, so, uh, yeah, I mean, do Indian Muslims take up AK-47s and uh, uh, go through the streets? Absolutely not. Uh, they, I think uh, all that you talked about plurality and uh, things, it, it, it definitely holds true. But within the community, they are uh, quite pretty dogmatic. And Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries, advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.